Hey guys, this is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and this is a rant warning, or if you're in the southern United States, I'm about to have a come apart, y'all. The reason I'm posting today is because I was on YouTube the other morning, and I came across a video of a person showing off their tactical radio gear. It was a Bofang UV-5R connected to a pair of electronic shooter's earmuffs, which were equipped with a push-to-talk button on a wire and a boom mic. It's not something I would use, but hey, more power to them. However, this person was selling this rig for sub-$200. This was his budget rig. Um, he's selling the UV-5R for $45. The PTT wire and button for $35, and the boom mic for $32. Let's see. Doing some basic math, $45 plus $35 plus $32, that's $112. Yeah, you heard that right. $112. Not to mention, the shooters your muffs cost about $60. Okay. And that's not including shipping. Not much of a budget. I can buy a UV-5R with an extended battery, a longer antenna, and a shoulder mic, all from Amazon, for about $57.90. Now, if you have to have stealth, and I know some people do, there is a an option for a two-way noise-canceling, transparent, walkie-talkie earpiece, that's $17.89. My issue is not that this person's on YouTube or even the fact that he's selling this type of rig. It's that people are buying this type of thing because it's tactical. What's tactical? A descriptive word for equipment or clothing that does not have any tactical purpose, but it looks cool. It's ridiculous if you ask me. The issue is that there are people out here who will buy this budget rig and be happy with it until somebody points out that they paid way too much for it. You think $45 for a UV5R? You could pick them up on Amazon for 22 bucks. So where's the extra money going? Yeah, whatever. Somebody will make this thing that looks tactical and then sells it for an exorbitant amount of money and folks buy it because they don't know any better. Especially people that are new to prepping. Okay? They see this tactical new thingy and drop their hard-earned money on it only to find out later that they could have purchased a similar item for much less. Not to mention that the UV5R is an amateur radio the use of which requires a license grant from the FCC. The point to this is you don't have to have tactical gear to be a prepper. You need something much more valuable. You need common sense. You need to know what your budget is and how you can best prepare for things that will actually happen, like job loss, a car accident, illness, you know, severe weather, things like that. You need to budget your money wisely. I am not against people making money however they can. I take issue with people who are gouging the uneducated with tactical gear. That's not very important to have right away. Or advising people, go ahead and get your bowfang and use it however you see fit because the FCC won't come knocking at your door. When in fact, the commission has stated in several cases, operation of radio transmitting equipment without a valid FCC authorization or license is in violation of Section 301 of the Act and may be subject 
and may subject responsible parties to substantial monetary fines, in rem arrest action against the offending radio equipment, meaning they can come and take your gear. And criminal sanctions, including imprisonment, because unlicensed operation creates a danger of interference to important radio communication services and may subject the operator to severe penalties. They are not playing. They're talking $10,000 a day for misuse of a amateur radio license or any other licensed radio service. Basically, this means that you are to use these radios in a manner that is legal by having a license grant from the FCC, not using them willy-nilly as you see fit. A lot of people in the prepping communities are against getting a license. I don't agree with that at all because, quite frankly, in order to use it, you have to have the license. It's the law. Granted, in an end-of-the-world-as-we-know-it situation, its licenses aren't really going to matter. Okay? Fantasies about the end of the world as we know it is fine and well for fiction writers, but actual prepping is a lot more common sense. That includes budgeting your money wisely. Use your head when you're buying gear. Please, for the love of God, use your head. This is K0MRD, and I'm out.